So today, you know, um, this is just um, uh, something that I wanted to do in my spare time. Uh, you know, this is an article that I believe NAMS have sent to me, or almost all I believe. Um, and I'm going to be reading, reading it from my phone, you know. You guys can take a look in the article in the description if you want, and read along. Man sentenced to 200 years for impregnating, and th the word says impregnating in all capitals, impregnating his 11-year-old granddaughter. Let me just scroll down. Michael, My Me Michael, I, I can't pronounce his name. It's not Michael, it's, it's, it's M-I-K-E-L. E A L, uh, Mi Mike Miko, uh, Michael Shane Perret is the man. The the word man is crossed out. Monster who impregnated his 11 year old granddaughter and sexually assaulted her younger sister while they were under his guardianship. This piece of human waste was sentenced 200 years in prison for his crimes. 200 fucking years. Um. <clears throat> Most human beings don't live until past their 80s or even 90s. It's very rare to see uh, someone that lives past 100 years old. And even more rarer to see someone that lives past 110 or even 120. There are very few people out there that actually are that old. Very few. Uh, from my Fox 8. A man has been sentenced 200 years in prison for impregnating his 11-year-old daughter, I mean granddaughter, and molesting the victim's young sister. The Smithsonian reported that Michael Sheen Perry, 55 years old, of Stevensville, Montana, was sentenced Wednesday to 100 years, each on two consists of incest. Yikes. Puritt was arrested in June after the 11-year-old girl was found to be 32 weeks pregnant pregnant she gave birth in August Wow oh wow this yeah that's very very awful like damn like her life is really fucked up this is something really fucked up his grandfather his grandfather impregnating his granddaughter and now they have a child so eh, not only is this person the, the, the little girl is probably one of the youngest mothers out there but the father who happens to be I, 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 I'm not sure the technical term now I mean I guess his great grandfather, the baby's great grandfather, is now the father, which feels rather weird. But then again, it's completely fucked up. I mean, like, yeah, I believe this person deserves to go to jail. But I don't think he's going to live for 200 years. I mean, the judge might as well just say that, you know, he should be sentenced to life. You know, without bail. Because what he did was a terrible act. The grandfather was the guardian of both victims. Ugh, hold on. I just... Come on. Get another fucking call. The grandfather was the guardian of both victims. He will be eligible for parole when he's 105. Which, again, I doubt he's going to be able to live that long. Doubt it. I mean, if there's any human being out there that lives to 150 years old, I would applaud them. I would say, you have seen a lot of shit throughout the ages. 150 years old. That is impressive. You know, fucking sea turtles get to live to 150 years old. Us humans, we're fucked. We have very short lives compared to other species. The judge said that Priorette has a long time history of predatory type of sexual conduct towards younger females and seems to lack any kind of assemblage of a consequence. 
Well, judging that he impregnated his 11-year-old granddaughter, no shit. Do they not have the death penalty in Montana? Clearly this man is not mentally fit to live among average people who don't have a sexual relationship with their grandchildren. I say find a rope and toll tree. It will save the taxpayers money. Um, hate to break it to you. You know, this is the part where I disagree. You know, it's already, it's good that he's in jail. We don't fucking need a death penalty. Okay? He's in jail. There's nothing, there's, he should um, live with that, with his own consequences. And if he doesn't change that, you know what? Doesn't change the fact he's going to spend the rest of his life, his rest of life behind bars. Uh, this that seems to be about it. Yeah, just about it. Um. So, yeah, this is this is just fucked up. Really fucked up. So you know what? Um, you know, thank you, Orbital Nams, for. You know, finding this article and, um, god damn, this is really fucked up. I really hope that maybe War Corp 666 or even official GATG was to make a video about it, but who knows. Till then, I'm the Atheist Gamer. Peace to Gamer.